Hi everyone, I'm Krika and this is Art Rendezvous. Uh, we are at the Georgetown Art Center today. Uh, they have an event going on called Art Hop. This event goes on for a whole month and they have participants from all over Texas. Today they are about to announce the winners of this year and they have uh, four different categories and the best in the show. So I'm really excited to find out who won this year and we're going to talk to all the artists today. President of Georgetown Art Works. Hi, Stuart. Hi. So that was a great show tonight. Thank you very much. It's a very special event. Okay, would you talk a little bit about the George Art, Georgetown Art Center? Sure. Uh, so this is a city-owned facility. This used to be a historic firehouse. Um, this building is hundreds of years old, mm -hmm. and uh, now it's the Georgetown Art Center. So we're very lucky to have this special relationship with the city where we are the nonprofit that operate this facility for the city. Um, so we have a lot of uh, leeway in what we want to do creatively, but Art Hop has always been a really important part of that. And how long uh, has Art Hop been going? This is year 13. We've been doing it for a while. The Art Hop was started before this place existed uh, mm -hmm. as the Art Center. Um, and then once this place opened as the Art Center in 2013, that's when we started having this here and also at the library. Okay, so it extends to the library as well. Yeah, it's a really big show. Uh, the, in this particular show, we have 135 artworks, so wow. we need a lot of extra space. Uh, so we have pieces here and then in the whole second floor of the library. Okay, and how long does this event go on? Uh, pretty much the whole month of October. Okay, every, every year it's in October. Yeah, right? this, is our, this is our big tradition. So yeah, it's a good fall event. People can walk around. Um, it's good walking weather to go from here to the library. It's just a few blocks away. Absolutely. <laughs> so what's your role here at the Art Center? Sure, so I'm the president of the nonprofit that operates the Art Center. So um, I help uh, make sure that we do grant writing. Um, I'm in charge of exhibits, uh, in charge of that committee, um, help make sure that the lights stay on, um, all of the things that come with running an arts facility. Okay. Uh, well, that, that was really great. What other events do you do around the year? This is our biggest uh, event that we have every year, no matter what. Um, we usually have other calls for entry where people can submit just one or two artworks. Mm -hmm. And uh, earlier in the year, we had an animal themed show like that. Um, the year before that, we had one that was about um, Hispanic heritage. And uh, then with some other events where we have really talented artists come from out of state, we usually have accompanying uh, events, talks, workshops, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, we really try to have a lot of stuff going on with all the exhibits. Uh, COVID has made that a little more challenging, but we're still doing our best to make sure that there's uh, accompanying things to go with each exhibit. So what's the process for the artists to reach out to you and you know to be able to show their work here? Sure, so with the uh, calls for art, for things like Art Hop, you know, there's, um, that's an annual thing. You look on the website, you can submit a few works of art. However, in starting December 1st to January 31st is when artists can submit an exhibit proposal. Mm -hmm. So that's where they, you know, have the entire space. And so we get uh, all of those exhibit proposals come in from all over the country. And then uh, we have an independent panel of judges that ranks them, gives us recommendations, and then the exhibits committee figures out what we're going to do with that. So uh, that's the best shot for somebody to get this whole space, is get a really good exhibit proposal in uh, during the winter. Okay. 
Uh, well, I'm looking forward to next year when we can have this event. Like, you know, as you mentioned earlier, like it was a big party. Yeah, year. yeah, no, it's, uh, we like having the big party aspect of it. Um, COVID doesn't want us to do that this year, and that's fine. We're still very lucky that we can still keep our doors open, mm -hmm. have a lot of great work on the walls. Um, we're still doing our best, and I'm glad that we're able to do it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Cool. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. You all ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Photography. Photography. Honorable mention. Carol Soror Rosate Rose Spoonbill. All right. Great. Very good. Third place. Charlie Fabret. Count your lucky stars. Good. All right. There you go. Great. Second place. Nancy Naylor. Almost heaven. And first place for photography. Larry Alford. Tree reflections. Right, very good. All right, now we're moving on to 3D. Uh, honorable mention, Margaret Henkels on all sides. Third place, Alana O'Gara, Kner Elephant Pot. Second place, this is 3D, Kim Paxson, Bits of Plastic Forks. And first place for 3D is Tom Garrett, French Lace. If I'm remembering something with a pretty wood piece inside here. All right. All right, 2D Abstract, Honorable Mention, Monica Perrier, Strange Terrain. All right, third place, 2D Abstract, Brenda McKinney, Under the C5. You're doing great. Second place, Diane Sandlin of Two Minds. And first place, 2D Abstract, B. Sean Cox, Modulated Narratives of Heroes. All right, good, good, good. All right, last category, 2D Representational. Honorable mention, Claudia Lardis Lardisabal, Intense Longhorn. Third place, Juan Carlos Amorotu, Potlicu. I believe that one's down here as well. Uh, second place, Shelby Elizabeth Hoot Al. And first place, Jennifer Kolnasek, Alice's Tea Party. That's pretty cool. Hi, Jennifer. Congratulations. Hi. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> so you won today in the 2D category? Yes, yes. Uh, awesome. So, is this your first time here in, uh, at our talk? No, I've been in, in shows before here with them. I did, I had won first place in 2016 or 17, something like that. So, so you've won here before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So I was totally shocked. I wasn't expecting this. But then I wasn't expecting it either. Um, so, anyway. Would you talk a little bit about the piece that won tonight? Um, well, it's kind of something newer that I had tried this year. I was um, experimenting with aquaboard and uh, I was trying to uh, mix up my water watercolor with um, some other elements. So mm -hmm. I was trying to do abstract it a little bit. And, um, and uh, my first love is figurative art and I really love portrait painting and I love expressive faces and trying to get, you know, communicate emotion and yeah. An activity, so. Um, uh, I saw that your art piece was also on the front of the um, cover of Art Hub. Yeah, that was a piece that I painted, um, let's see, was it late last year, the beginning of this year? I did a triptych, um, I guess it was late last year, because it was in last year's Art Hub, yes. <laughs> um, I did a triptych with, um, that was one of the three by fours, and then I did a four by four piece that's hanging at the Woodlands Trust. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, so they were just fun. It's my grandson doing a flip in various oh, positions. So you, had, you had multiple of uh, Yeah, so that was when he, you know, the first part of the flip, and then there was the middle of the flip, and then the other end of the flip. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. So. Well, thank you, and congrats again. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, did y'all want to hear Best in Show? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, Best in Show. So this is out of all the pieces, you know, I get over like 500 pieces entered into this contest and then this year it whittled down to about 135 between here and the library. 
This is the whole state of Texas, ages 16 and up. This is really, really cool. Um, all of these uh, judges work really hard with all of the uh, artwork that they could see. There's my two beautiful children, Claire and Chloe, and my beautiful wife, Lee. All right, best in show, Devin Clarkson, the series view. Very, very good. I believe that piece is down here as well. Hi, Devin, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so you won the best in the show today. How do you feel? Um, I don't think it's kind of hit me yet, kind of as far as like the importance of it, but for sure I'm happy. Yes, for sure. <laughs> so would you talk a little bit about the piece that won tonight? So that piece is a, is a portrait of one of the students I went to school with. Um, mm -hmm. I went to a four-year art school in Cedar Park. And um, the assignment was back then was to take a photo of somebody and I just really was intrigued by her features, her facial features and just like her hair too, the texture of her hair and uh, what she was wearing, the scarf, the texture of the clothing. So um, yeah, I pretty much just chose that and kind of ran with it. Awesome. And what's your style usually? What kind of, uh, with, besides uh, the portraits? What so are? my style is usually realism. So I mm -hmm. try to capture as much of the personality and as much, well, realism as I can in, in each of my pieces. Okay. And this is your first time at Art Hall? No, this is actually my second time. Second time. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations again. That, that was really awesome that you won around like 135 submissions and 500 yes, artists. That's so awesome. That's really, that's congrats sure. again. Thank you. Thank you.